punctuation. Now, I want to talk about punctuation. Punctuation. These are the little marks that we use in writing. And these are the names in English. This is the period. This is what we say in the US and Canada. In the UK, it's called the full stop. But it's this, OK? Period or full stop. It's used after a sentence or after a short word, such as Mr. or the U.S. Now, next is question mark. Question mark. Of course, the question mark is used after questions. Okay? Next. Comma. Comma. This is used in many places, but especially lists. For example, one, two, three. Okay? Next is the hyphen. We saw the hyphen. It's used inside a word. For example, 21. Okay? It's inside a word to join two words. And then finally, we have an apostrophe. This also is used inside words. For example, we saw do not, don't. Okay, now again, this is the period or full stop, question mark, comma, hyphen, and apostrophe. All right? Now, here are some sentences. I'm going to show you some sentences with no punctuation, and we're going to change them. Here we go. Okay, now we're going to practice punctuation. First, I will write sentences, no punctuation. One, this is a sentence. This is a sentence. Two, we don't speak Chinese. We don't speak Chinese. Do you like pizza? Do you like pizza? She is 43 years old. She is 43, oops, 43 years old. And my brothers are 5, 8, and 10 years old. My brothers are 5, 8, and 10 years old. Now, we're going to have the assistants put in the punctuation. So, Lisa, do number one. This is a sentence, period. Period, yes, good. Okay, Ali, number two. We don't, an apostrophe, speak Chinese, period. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, three, Isabel. Do you like pizza? Question mark. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, Lisa. She is 40, hyphen, three years old, period. Yes, good. 
And uh, last one, Isabel. My brothers are five, comma, eight, and ten years old. Period. Okay. All right. There should also be a comma here. Okay. All right. Good job, all of you. Thank <laughs> you.